Hello sunshines and welcome to Demos with Diva. Today we're taking a look at Lacera's Summit Kingdom by Quite OK Games. Build and expand your very own settlements and high mountains. Carefully plan production chains and satisfy various needs of your three caste society while dealing with mountain hazards such as weather breakdowns and avalanches. Are you skilled enough to make your own town thrive? The full game is due to be released in 2023. Check out the link in the description below to play the demo for free. This was recorded over on my Twitch channel, so head on over there and hang out with me Tuesday and Thursday evenings and Saturday mornings. If you want to see me play more demos, drop a like and a follow and let me know in the comments what you want to see me play. Warning, this video contains strong language. Discretion is advised. Now without further ado, let's get started. Uh, the first demo of the evening is going to be Play Sarah. First demo of the Evanen. Play Sarah. Summit Kingdom. Uh, I know nothing about this game, so that's going to be fun. Um, Really, all I do it, when I'm looking for these demos is like, does it have a demo? Has it come out yet? Uh, if it is yes, no, um, then I'm like, sweet, awesome. I can play this on Twitch. Um, I've also thought about playing um, demos that have come out, um, but I'm probably going to do that on Saturdays until uh, my weekends calm the fuck down because... <laughs> Which will probably not be till like Thanksgiving, uh, which is around the about a year since uh, I did my Stardew Valley uh, stream and all of that. There's no. There is so much music, and I. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right. Let's get started, shall we? So, okay, so welcome to Lacera. This, in this demo, you'll build a fully functioning settlement. This tutorial will guide you along the way. Let's start with going through the basic controls. W-A-S-D. Ooh, interesting. Very interesting. And a mouse scroll as the camera's in. Oh, okay, sweet. I like that. Uh, and I can't drag. Ugh, no, no. Hints. And additional information continue. Uh, at least it's not as bad as it was in. Um, I really just want to click and drag. You know, I don't want to have this. This, this I hate so much. All right, it's time to start building your town. Let's start by placing the marketplace. It'll be a central point of your settlement, as it distributes goods among citizens and living nearby. Build a marketplace. Okay, so. Who, okay. So it looks like it just automatically, um, does it have to be there? Can I just put it here if I want to? Or does it have plans for me that I don't know about? Um, all right, continue. Uh, see the red marker above the marketplace. It means that building doesn't have a road connection to the mountain every... Mountain entry point. Where is the mountain entry point? Okay, let's fix that by building some roads. Okay, so what is that? Butter tea production. Okay, uh, if we. How do I get rid of this? Okay. You can remove any buildings, including roads, using demolish tool. You can go away. Or you can't. So where is the, is it here? Okay. There we go. You can remove any building, including roads. And roads. So that's the, that's that. And then we can continue building roads. Um, I don't. We're missing eight people. 
That's <laughs> nice. I love that. All right. Uh, let's see what what do we what do we got? What's this? Demolished. Tool. Okay. Good job. The marker above the marketplace has changed. Nice. Uh, the new new one means the building lacks a workforce. Well, let's bring some folks into our town then. Building houses increases the town's population, so let's place a few of them near the marketplace. Have 32 citizens in the accident. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, um, houses. Ooh, Lowlander's Hut. I guess that's the only one that we can build at the moment. So, we can do. Do we get this lumber that is. Um, so, I don't know. Workers and so got it. So let's build some roads real quick. Okay, so those are good. Um, after placing a house, it becomes inhabited instantly by four set instance. Workers are assigned to workplaces automatically. Okay. Um, I can't look any further. That's kind of. Hmm. I don't like that. Uh, actually. Uh, demolish. Whew! Nice! I like that it brings me... Um... Oh, if you right-click it just gets rid of the option. That's pretty cool, too. I guess. What? It becomes a row house? Oh, man, that's awesome. Okay. that That's actually a really cool thing. That I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, uh, let's build some more rows. So it said 32 people. It needs 32 workers. Um, mm. So if we have 32 workers, how many? Oh, we have 20 now. 24, 28, 30, I just need three more houses. Okay, so I guess we can just put one here, here, and those are both touched by the road or whatever. And this one works? Okay, sweet. Okay, um... Right, that's really interesting. Can I... Shush. Can I move? No, I cannot. Okay. Great! Let's continue developing our settlement by providing our citizens access to the mandala, a mandala building, which is important for their spirituality. Mandala, among other many other buildings in Lesara, have a range. That means it will only affect nearby buildings, in this case, houses. Okay, so create a mandala. Okay. Oh, I can put it there though. Can I put it here? No, no. I wish I could like rotate these things. <laughs> um, I guess that would be fine. But honestly, I don't know if we're getting incense production. Okay, okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, great. Great. Yes. Hello? Hello? Come in. What's up? Yeah, you can. Uh, can you take my bowl to the kitchen? And then, uh, I am streaming, so you're gonna have to be quiet, but you can do your thing. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, great. You have fulfilled the need of your citizens to learn more about your folks. Let's, okay, so I gotta click on a house. Looks like folks living here would like to get some food. <laughs> huh, I assume they would. Which isn't really that surprising. Let's focus on that. Close house menu. Continue. Oh, I need to build a chicken farm. Oh, uh, okay. So we've got this one. I guess the first thing that we do is build a chicken farm. And we can build it over here as well. As long as it's, I guess it, as long as it's connected to the road, it's fine. Um, why is it only part of that? 
So if I put it over here, it's so I feel like putting it a chicken farm next to a religious spot might not be the best plan. <laughs> this won't hit it and this barely hits it. So I'll put can I build like two? I guess as long as it hits the marketplace, is that what it's trying to tell me? Okay. So let's just put it here. Okay. Uh, every every production building can only transport its production output to a building that it's reached, which is, I guess, the marketplace is what we're most concerned about at this moment. Chicken farm is not producing eggs, but as indicated by the icon, it is not sending them anywhere. Let's address that by clicking on the chicken farm and sending the items to the marketplace. Okay, send out trading trading transport route. Click on the destination building. Okay. Alright then. Okay. Excellent. Uh let's address that by clicking in every protection building that has required you to set where the transport will be. Okay, cool. Great. Let's increase the food variety for our folks and start producing Sempa, a flour made from barley, placing mill. Make sure it has uh, our marketplace in range and supply it with barley from barley fields. But we don't have barley? Okay. Wait. Okay. I guess it's doing whatever it's supposed to be doing. Okay, so now we gotta make a plant up production. So we gotta make a barley field. Uh, which can get to uh, uh, I can make it out. What does this mean? Having mill and start sending barley to it. needs or it has oxen so let's send our barley there and then you start sending it uh, have a mill and start sending barley uh, our mill is receiving barley but is still not producing any sampa it's because this building requires not only human workers but also yaks to operate to increase your town's yak population, you need to build a simple yak. This is complicated. I mean, I like that, but um, simple yak breeding. Oh, I just feel weird about putting stuff like that next to it. Oh, I can't put it over there. That sucks. I can't move anything. Um, yeah. that's what we're gonna do. Uh, and then we're going to build a road. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, now we can start sending... Get some yaks and start sending Sampa to the market. Okay. Uh... Providing six yaks. Okay. So our mill has six yaks doing whatever that is. Okay. Great! Looks like your citizens are happy enough to upgrade their housing. Once the house can be upgraded, you can do that by clicking the button above it. Oh, that's what that means. Upgraded houses accommodate more inhabitants, therefore resources consumption rises. Consult the marketplace menu to see consumption data. Upgrade eight houses. I mean, this would mean I would need more chickens, and I would need more barley. So, oh, very nice. Yeah, look. <laughs> I'm glad this doesn't cost anything. <laughs> just, <laughs> just like to do this indefinitely. So, okay. So we upgraded our eight houses, but our market. Nice job! It's becoming a little tight, isn't it? Time to expand. To connect your town to the area on the left, we can use a bridge. 
You'll need to find a suitable spot on each side to place it. Uh, connect two frequencies. Okay, so we gotta... Oh, interesting. Okay. Oh, oh, I see, I see. It says it, it, it by itself. Uh, oh, you know what I just discovered? I can right-click and it moves. Oh, this is so much better. This is so much better than Primitive Society Simulator. Alright, so let's go build our bridge and then we gotta... Congratulations. This is where we built our bridge. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Next two brain regions via a bridge. Did. Done did. The Stanley Reach region will be a great place for the second residential area, so let's put another marketplace here. Use the bridge you have built to create a road connection. I already done that. Workers from the first residential area can pick jobs in the other region. Can you turn yours down a little bit? Uh, use the bridge you have built to create a road connection. Workers from the first residential area can take jobs in other regions. The workforce tool is global across the whole mountain. Nice. Have operational marketplaces. Okay, so let's go ahead and I can put this wherever I want now. So let's go ahead and put that there. That is connected to the road. The new residential area. Let's make things interesting and bring a second path to the your current village houses lowlanders, folks who are versatile in the ways of nature and the land. Artisans, on the other hand, are crafting manufacturers and service workers. Okay. So we go back here. Let's make artisans' house. And how many of these do we have to have? We have eight artisan houses and upgrade them to level two. this road. Continue the road there. Alright, so we've got our artisan houses and now we've got to upgrade them. Build a bar with fulfilled needs. Okay. Oh, okay, so I just need to like do the food and stuff too. We're not eating demand, so. Providing six, and how many are you using? Two. Okay. So that means we've got to build ourselves another fuel, right? I'm going to put that field over here. I think I'm going to have a meat, um, turn this to yeah. We're going to build another one out of those mills, right? Okay. Um, 
I might as well just build the road there, why not? Weird looking, but <laughs> whatever. Alright, so if we go back here, that's going to send to you. This one is also producing, so we can put that there. This is making. That uh, looks good, right? What about y'all? Fully fulfilled category and upgrade. Prosperity and prosperity. So. I see. I guess we're going to have to make more. Actually, I can. Okay. Can I... Okay. What's up? Yeah, the best. Just don't put them on the floor. Uh, you have to find a place. Careful, there's... Don't trip on your wires. They don't put them in the closet. Okay. Okay. What? Okay, that's good idea. You're not getting any. So I guess what we can do. Um I might as well put another chicken farm over here, right? And both of those can send those here. Um Do these people need spirituality? Like, maybe? What, what happened to the mandala? Okay, so let's make a mandala here. Right next to the bathhouse, which would be great. So they've got that going out for them. So how do we how are we feeling guys? Um, baths need is satisfied for that. Mandala is satisfied and we still need food. So why is this? And then um, how's our food doing? Satisfied. Um but I think we should get um yeah, let's go ahead and put another barley here. So, and, um, just because, you know. And no. And we're just going to go the road. There we go. You send here. You send here. Okay. Oh, you need oxen, don't you? But you have to. You 
already have two, so. Um, got it. Yaks. I have six. Toilet jobs can build a little bit combined to transportation. Couple engine out excellent. Um, okay, so let's get ourselves some more of the oxen breeding going on. How's that sound? Oh, a yak shack. Cozy place with yaks. Provides you with wool and milk. Requires yaks to operate, but then you can make a cheese maker. So, can I upgrade these? No. Can I fill up? Because I need like two of each or something? Okay. So, um. I got you guys a path down. How many people are working here? Ten. Citizens living in houses in range of that close to the building. Y'all don't have one? Let's see which one's the fancier this way. Uh, animal protection. Okay. Two of those farms. So, um, that's just gonna be like the big one. Where is my yeah? Okay, so let's do put a yak farm there. Why not? Um, okay. So what do we? We need like one more spirituality. Or we need like another food source. Maybe I need to put like a low run juice map. workers, but each one of these is, is it has 10 inhabitants. Okay, so, um, and it's attached to the road. Um, what other, what else did I get at all? Like another food source? I think it's like the only other thing that I can think of. Let's see. What is chicken? I gave you guys a chicken farm. You have a chicken farm. And you have a mandala. Enlightenment. That's just for your month. But oh, you don't get books. Yeah. Um. I don't know if I either. I could do another. Ooh, that's right. Yak shack. Let's do. Um, yak shack here. And then we can do the cheese farm here. Okay, and you have to send stuff. Cannot not distribute this route, cannot be distributed. Okay, interesting. Um, I guess I do need to finish the road then. Some of you are so picky. Okay. Um, not receiving input receiver. Oh, okay, I get it. And here. Not an input resource. This building isn't using this here. No, not distribute. The source resource cannot be distributed from this building. Where are we? Okay.
another worker house. Um, This is called Laysara Summit Kingdom. It's a demo. It's a city builder. City builder? Mm hmm. So, um. Do you, do you have Steam on your computer? Mm hmm. Great job. Now it's time to expand upwards and see what the mountain has to offer. Just like the bridge, uh, can it just like a bridge can connect? What? Okay, I'll be right back, y'all. It's gonna be a lot of reading, okay? That's probably just somebody random. Not random, but they probably pay people to play. I unfortunately do not get paid to do this. Uh, okay, so we're going to build a shaft. Uh, have an operating shaft to the yellowest region. So we're going to go over here. I have a feeling the artisans would not appreciate that. So we're going to have one up here. Ooh, very steep. <laughs> okay. Oh, is that just like goes up and down with people? Okay, that's interesting. All right, split it. Now you have reached the region in the middle zone. Top production output of uh, some buildings depend on which zone they are placed in. This is shown in their tool tip guys. Okay, so we're like at the base of the mountain here. Ish, right? I guess it's like clouds and stuff, but we're... <laughs> Our shaft goes pretty deep, uh, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, so we've got all of this here. I think we're doing pretty good. Uh, right, so here, oh, I see copper. I see these guys. That's interesting. What do we got? Uh, an example of a building working this way is the beekeeper. It produces significantly more resources in the middle zone. 
Let's use that to our advantage. So if we go here, to our beekeeper barn. Um, that was crying. This is so pretty. Look at all this. <clears throat> um, let's do... Oh, we can do this pretty. Yeah, there we go. Um, I think we'll be... I'll be right back. Yes, dog, can I help you? Uh, let's see, continue. If you want to provide our people with honey, we need to find a way to transport all the way down. Beekeeper can only send resources to nearby buildings, so we need a warehouse. Uh, warehouse? No. Advanced yak breeding. Okay. Uh, fodder production. Warehouse. Oh, yeah, sure. Okay. That's the bass. That's the mandala. Okay. Let's do. <laughs> Those are cute. Okay, I just, like, that's just all the people swaying back and forth. That's adorable. <laughs> Excellent. So build a warehouse and start gathering honey in it. Oh, it just tells you what to put in there. Okay. Okay. As already mentioned, warehouse can be used to transport resources over long distances. Warehouses don't have ranges, they have carriers instead. The more carriers assigned to transport route using plus button, the more resources can be transported. Clear it. The dogs are trying to be dishwashers. It's not a great idea. Okay. How many of these do you need? Um, until it says stop. Yeah. What? Who is crying? Seriously, would like to not be all the way so many times today. Oh, this is where else we use? We need carriers. Let's send honey down to your marketplace to distribute to your folks. Okay. So. Okay. No carriers assigned to China. 
Okay. Fairies are recruited from unemployed artisans. Okay. Uh, unlike production buildings, a single warehouse can send resources to multiple buildings. Keepers. Okay. And can I stop this? What are you talking about? You you can't use the hand. You just use the mouse. You, if you wanted to get rid of the house, you have to destroy it. What? I don't know. So. Alright, well, there's other games you can play, because I'm streaming right now and I can't really help you. I really wish I could rotate these things. So how do I get a row of this thing? Cool. Okay. I screwed myself over. So what we're gonna do is destroy both of these. Move the Mandela here. Yes. And then the bathhouse right here. And that way I can have a road connecting the two. And then you guys more food. Okay. Um, they need cheese. Uh, if you need AIDS distribution, you need a yak shack. Let's try to get. Uh, 
for whatever reason, he cannot get to the freaking market. But he can. Because you have to go like a million miles away. Let's do this. Let's do this. Now, do we have people? Honey to both market places. Uh, let's see. The other thing we gained access to by expanding higher are resource deposits. On these spots, we can build mines. Let's start by copper mining copper and use it for copper and utensils production. Move cursor to a resource deposit to see a button for quickly placing a mine. Build the mine. Build the mine. Build the mine. Um, arts production. The new Oh, nice. I can see around. That's actually pretty cool. Okay. Excellent. Now I need workers. So we're just gonna pop a couple of houses over here. Right. You can also send I don't need any of that. 
Oh, well, I guess I can't put it on. Now can you get them? No? Okay. You're just gonna get demolished. I'm gonna demolish this road. I'm at the warehouse directly behind the worker houses. Do you think that good? Is that okay now? Alright, okay. Start copper utensil projection. Ornaments production. Copper mine. Uh, is that what I already have? Yes, that is what I already have. Um, barley field? No. Chicken farm. Beekeeper. Rat track. Copper mine. Copper utensil maker. Okay. I can build a road. Now. So, if that is the case, can I send not receiving So we need to get another mine going. Oh, it needs gax. Uh, we can make gax up here. Why not? Some couple upgrades over here. Nice. Um, 
how are we doing, people? Good? We're good? Okay. Uh, actually... Can I get up here? Copper okay. can't build a mine. Well, which requires research. Okay. Upgrade 20 houses to level 3. Great, now you can build another warehouse to send copper utensils down and distribute them. It's already done. After doing so, you your people will be very, very close to upgrading their houses again. To make that happen, you'll also provide them with textiles. For wool production, you can either build new yak shacks or use already built ones. This objective has no cast requirement for which houses you should upgrade. Okay, so just 20. Like, whatever needs to happen. I think I do need to give these people a mandala. I think we should build a marketplace up here, shouldn't we? Um, so there's food. Let's build another house. Bless you. What? What does it say? <laughs> uh, maybe it's time to go get ready for bed. So, I can help you tomorrow when I'm not streaming, okay? haven't used um need to upgrade <laughs> let's get a yak field out here and then um a barley field can't put anything there because that can't go a little road there. <laughs> Yaks go in a circle. Okay. Um alright, so this is just gonna be unused areas, that's fine. Um all of those are fine. What do you guys need? Uh any category. Okay. So if I'm to Bills, 
looking prosperous. to a... So. Oh, my God. I see carriers. Um, it might automatically save, but go ahead and close your computer. So it's not running all night. I need to get more right? Two oops. Did not mean to do that, but okay. Um right. Is it barley that's not meaning demand? Yes, definitely. Tampa. Tampa is not meaning demand, so it stops doing the thing when I unplug it. Should I unplug it when I need it? Oh, sure. That's fine. Okay. It's just, okay. it'll stop charging. Alright. Good night. Wait, wait, this energy? It yeah. won't enter. Yeah, it won't use energy when it's not plugged in. One of these right behind. Uh, artisans will love it. We get it direct. I cannot, this resource cannot be distributed to me. What? Oh, it's because of freaking mill. Okay, can I... Where's the mill? I can't make it to the mill, so I have to make another mill! Okay. Let's go ahead and demolish that. No. connected this way no move the mandala shall we okay. and then rebuild the mandala Okay, house is here. Okay. You send it here. Oh 
very good free utensil thingy going, man. We don't have any other copper mines to, like, start a factory unless we do another... Can you? Okay, so it's already transporting out, so I can't do another one of these. I would skip ahead and just. Hmm. Come up, level three. You have a mandala right there. Okay, so let's just put me on the mandala. Um, uh, or not, because that doesn't seem to do anything. What are your demands? Demands are too. Oh, sorry, too bad. Right, my styles. So you want. So let's see. What, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Textiles. A weaver. So from a yak shack, we can put a weaver. Not a This I am missing seven people. Does that mean I need to make seven people? Okay. I need to build a yak shack in here. Do I have a cheese thingy up here? I don't have a yak shack. Yak shack. Then the cheese production. Then with the textiles. Weaver. Right there. So. More people now. Ooh, and all of these guys can be upgraded too. So there we go. Okay, cool. That definitely helps with that. Okay, now these guys. <sighs> this 
this copper is not going in. sending here and you're sending here. You are sending directly to the marketplace. You're sending to the warehouse and the warehouse is sending this one and marketplace to you. So you are also sending Take care of that. Two more copper. There's definitely more copper up here. So let's see what we got. Great job. You have successfully built a thriving mountain settlement. As a last thing in this demo, let's take a very quick look at avalanches. One way of dealing with them is to trigger them preemptively before they get too powerful. Hopefully, it won't be too late. Have operating avalanche inducer on the topmost region. Cool. Okay. Avalanche inducer. Just a giant horn. Okay. Oh, it's starting to snow. Okay. That's uh, a little scary, I'm not gonna lie. Here. Missing an ox. Okay, excellent. So, so now we need an ox. So if we build up an ox pen here. Are you serious? This thing is... 11. Okay. So we need like a crap ton of... <laughs> Trigger avalanche! Part of your village. So screw that entire side of the mountain, right? <laughs> wow. Okay. Right. Can you build cars? Use more advanced transportation methods, production chains, and another cast monks to build. Okay, th this is actually pretty cool. 
Uh, I wish you could rotate buildings, but I understand why you don't. Why you, you can't. Because a lot of isometric games like this, you can only really view from one area. However, you can, like, zoom around the, the mountain, which is really interesting to me. So it's like, why can't we... Uh, rotate things, you know? So, uh, I really like that. I, I, you know what? I love me a good... I love me a good city builder, and uh, the concept of avalanches is really interesting. Um, I also want to figure out how, like, it, if in the, the main game, like if this was just the tutorial and everything, it's like just teaching you how to do stuff, I want to figure out how um, other stuff happens, you know? Like, I want to, like... The, the wood that we're chopping down, the the, the rock that we're chopping down, is that, or do, do we just not need resources? Is that a thing? Is the only natural disaster an avalanche? Like, I, I want to know more about this game. Like, I really want to know what it's, what it's giving, you know? Like, I, I'm just, I'm really excited. I really am, uh, inner, I'm really interested to see what comes out. Thank you for joining me as I played Lacera Summit Kingdom by Quite OK Games. This demo is free to play on Steam, and if you would like to play it for yourself, check out the link in the description below. The full game is due to be released in 2023. If you enjoyed what you saw, please leave a like, a follow, and ring that notification bell so you know when a new episode drops. Also, don't forget to check out the link to the completely free Discord server to chat about games and whatever else is on your mind. We've also started a weekly watch party on Saturday evening, so stop on by and check us out. Let's keep the comments chill so no hate or spoilers as I'm not above removing those comments and the people who make them. That's all for now, folks, and I'll see you next time.